so I have black contacts in for this video. Um, it's coming up to Halloween and I decided that I wanted to try on my outfit, make sure that it all fit. I've never worn contacts before so I wanted to make sure that I could get them in. And now I don't want to take them out because I love them. I'm obsessed. Beside the point. Anyway, so what is it that you do on a Saturday night when you don't have plans and you have an over and active brain? You create a YouTube video. Hi. So today's video was I live tonight's video because it is about 20 to 11 here in the UK. So it's like pitch black outside. So with me ring light on my couch making this video for you guys. Oh yeah. We're reviewing a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous wig that I love um, from a company called Zella Rose Wigs. Now I'm not sure if I've pronounced this correctly. First of all, can we appreciate this phone case? Appreciate it. Um, I don't know if I've pronounced that right and if I have pronounced it wrong, I do apologise to the company. Yeah. This is her YouTube. Not her YouTube. Not her YouTube. This is her Instagram account, so she's pretty close to to 10,000 followers, which I'm really happy for her about because she does some really, really nice wigs. I mean, if you can just see from her feed, you know, they're good quality. So I kind of wanted to do a review of the wig that I've been wearing for probably, God, at least the last two months now. Um, I wore it when I got it, I then had a break and then I've like brought it back. So yeah, let's get into it. So, I bought this wig because she deals with a lot of um, front lace synthetic wigs. Now because I'm not dyeing my hair anymore, I wanted to actually spend a bit of money on my wigs so I knew they were good quality. Rather than the ones that I get off eBay that are shiny as hell and don't look half as good as these wigs do. So yeah, without further ado, this is the beauty right here. Oh my god, like seriously, like oh my god, like oh my god, oh my god. It's one of the best wigs I own and I own probably over 30 now. Um, and this is definitely like, oh my god. This is just like up there at the very top. Um, like I was just saying with the shine, because so there is a bit of a shine on this, but that is because I'm using my ring light. And it also looks white, again, because I am using the ring light. I will pop a picture right here of what it's supposed to look like. Um, but yeah, it's like a really, really light mint green, which is like highly unlikely for my hair to ever get that light again. The one thing that I love about this, well, apart from everything, is the roots. Um, the roots are dark, which again gives it that more realistic look in my eyes. Because I do have dark hair, I can sort of blend the top in with this. Um, and again, because it goes to the sides, if you know, if I'm having a day where I just want to pull my hair back, then I can pull it back, which I love. By the way, I just think. There's just something so brilliant about the fact that you can just pull it back and make it look as natural as you can to your own hair. So as I said, it is a front lace wig. I mean, obviously I've had this over a month now, so I've already cut the lace off to where I wanted it. Um, you know, I left a tiny little bit on the front, not too much, but just so that when I do wear it and I wear makeup, I tend to blend my hairline into it, which makes it look a lot better. Um, the quality, like the thickness of it, is so thick. I tend to wear this in a like fishtail braid at the side. Um, I'm loving that in a minute. So like once I've got it on, I mean I'll put it on in a minute. I'm not sure you guys. But once I've got it on and I've braided it, and I tend to just like pull some bits out, make it a little bit messy because that's how I wear my hair naturally. If I was wearing it in the fishtail. Um, again, shine control. There is literally nothing. Especially when you're out, because there are other wigs that I wear that you can tell that they're fake. I have this um, pretty dark greenish one, and you can tell that's fake because they shine, and as soon as you step outside, and it's only like bam, the shine's there. Um, 
which gets to me because I kind of have to wear a hat with that one. Um, you know, I've put dry shampoo in it, I've put a um, baby powder on it, and nothing seems to be working. Thanks, babe. Dogs. So at the minute, I am really just just wearing a hat with it, which is very, very annoying. Anyway, back to this beauty. So it comes with, if I can get to them, it comes with free. Is it definitely free? Definitely free. It comes with these three grips. So you have one either side and then you have one in the middle. So when you put it on your head, it just securely keeps it in. Uh, personally, my own preference, I don't wear them um, because I feel the way my head is shaped, I feel that the back strap, gap, or the hair off, but the back. The back strap is secure enough for me for when I have it on. Um, the wig cap itself, not the wig cap, the, the um, cap inside, it's it's brilliant. It's a really, really good material. You know, you can't see through it like you probably could on the others. So in my wigs I have, and you can see the lines where they've, oh, okay. thank you. You can see the lines where they've not connected the cap, which is really, really frustrating. Um, but yeah, I mean, they are there. They are optional whether or not, well, I don't want, whether or not you want them on. Um, it definitely does secure them on if you have a smaller sized head, whereas unfortunately for me, I have a pretty big sized head, so it don't really matter because they, it stays on with me. Um, but yeah, I'm going to show you guys how to put it on if you've never put on a wig before. So yeah, um, I tend to... My hair's pretty short already. I have it all shaved at the back, and then I, my hair's only quite short, but my hair is pretty thick. Um, so I don't put. I know that some people put it into like a little bun, and that's fine. It's fine for them. Look, tell how long about it in a, like in a bun bar. Because I've had another wig on today. This is wig hair. So what you will get when you receive this is you get a cap. A wig cap. I have about, I only have like just over 30 wigs, but I've probably got about 50 of these just lying around my house because I buy them and then I lose them. Yeah, it happens. So yeah, you want to make sure that you've got all of your hair in. Again, because this does have a pretty dark root, I tend to just leave the littlest part out here so I can then blend in the wig to my actual hairline so it kind of makes it you know even more realistic what I tend to do in this is you know completely optional for people I tend to have it down I hold the ends so I already have them put my head in and flip it such great video content this just you know content with me doing it I <laughs> I mean, look, so then I match it up with my hairline as best as I can. Obviously, it's not looking the greatest because I normally spend a lot of time, I put makeup into the middle so it's, you know, kind of easier. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is pretty much the end result. Um, again, I I love it. Um, I'll show you guys what I do with the braids, if I can, and the bobble. So, it's pretty long like I'm I don't even know what height I am I'm 5'5 five five. I'm thinking height there. okay so I'm 5'5 five five, and this goes down to about the just above my chest so it's a pretty good length um I will check the length on the website place it in the description down bar below um but I tend to go for pretty long ones anyway so yeah so what I tend to do with this again because it does look so. I move, move your bit forward so you can see. Because oh my god, I'm back. you just seen a bit of my bra. Oh god, I'm wearing a pink bra. Okay, so because it does look pretty natural, I tend to grab it loosely at the back. Just I want. I have all my scruffy. I never have it perfect because my hair isn't perfect when I plot it myself. So 
I'm just going to do a plait for this one. I'm not going to do a fishtail braid or anything like that. So just a bog standard plait. But again, I do it very, very messy. You can, I will. I want to say recommend. If you're going for that non-existent look, then yeah, I would definitely recommend getting a light um, bubble because you can't see it. But if you just, you know, again, when it's a little natural, I go for the black. But leave a, I mean, look at the quality of this. Look how thick and luscious this is. It's brilliant. So when I get to this point, again, I just kind of mess all this up. I am, if I've left a lot there, then I'll just get a bobby pin and I like wrap it and pin it. But again, just so it like leaves like a little bit. So it, oh yeah. So yeah. <laughs> um, let me move you forward again. Hi guys. So as you can see, it is a brilliant quality wig. Um, again, this does look, let me move that down a little bit. So normally what I tend to go ahead and do, I've only just washed this, so you know it's kind of like not styled the way that I would style it. Um, and I'm not planning on styling it like that anymore for a while. So normally I have all of the middle bit here, I normally have it all concealed, you know, making it a lot, um, what's the word, making it a lot more natural um, because your scalp is a lot, even though it's, you know, the first thing the sun hits, because of all the hair, it's not exposed. So your scalp is a hell of a lot wider than the rest of you. So it kind of just makes it look more natural. Um, and normally I will, like, if I'm having it in this type of deal, then the one, the bits that are hanging out, I normally curl these, and then I curl the bottom, just so it gives it more of that poofy look. Um, but yeah, I mean, I have, styled this, I have washed this, I have done god knows everything to this wig and to this day it stands brilliant like it's you know it's not got any damage it's it's just brilliant the biggest ramble ever I lose my train of thought when I'm talking about someone that I'm so passionate about and that I love so much and this is one of them I absolutely adore this wig I think mean, because it looks so natural and so, just so natural, I can get away with it and like I get compliments about it, like I love your hair. And like it gives me a buzz, it gives me a boost and I'm like, oh thank you. But then I get those like paranoia because I'm like, oh, why did they come over and they like want to touch it and they're like, that don't feel like your hair. And I'm like, no, it's a wig, what are you going to do? <sighs> but yeah, I mean, apart from that, I love it. I will definitely, I will definitely remember to link all the information for all of my other social media sites down below. I will also link the description for the Instagram page um, for Stella Rose. Again, I'm so sorry for pronouncing it. And this is the woman who runs it herself in like the doggy filter. Um, but yeah, I will definitely link all of her stuff down below. Um, and I will also put down in the description bar because I don't have enough time and my camera's like gonna die on me. Um, I will also put down in the description. Basically, oh, I'm gonna tell you now just because I've got like two minutes left. Um, she, the woman who runs it, um, has alopecia, and that's kind of how she's come about making these wigs and creating these beautiful pieces that make women feel beautiful about themselves and confident and sexy and just everything that you can feel about yourselves and um, but I will definitely get more information for you guys and I'll definitely link it down below so you can basically read about her read about her company and um, and then obviously all her social media links will be down below and um, so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this massive ramble that I just took you on this journey that I just took you on for like no reason and um, if you did make sure you give it a massive thumbs up make sure you subscribe and yeah until next time guys, stay positive, Mwah. bye! But for real, can we talk about my eyes though? Like, BAM! Took me half an hour to get these in. And I panicked when I put them in because they felt they're weird and I'm